Mr. Rickles, we're ready for you. What is it? <laughs> I just said that we were going to meet with the old timer. No, 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 no. I, don't, I don't do local shows. Local, local, local Chazerai doesn't help me. Chazerai, that's a New York, New, New York expression for have a corned beef sandwich. <laughs> but please, really, how did Becky? you get a show? How did you so dumb? I'm, first of all, I'm watching the, bear, uh, the football game, yes, I and am. I don't need you here with the tuxedo like you're a catered waiter. We'll have uh, two, uh, two hors d'oeuvres to go. Now, you listen, want to sit down? You better not no, sit. This let, is, let's uh, stand this right is too here. sharp for you. What is it? It must be the thrill of your 35-year career to have me with you here. Can in I be honest with you? Honest with you. <laughs> I've been working in Atlantic City on like six, seven years of resorts. You understand? Yeah. You on the show have set me back about nine years. <laughs> so help me. The audiences were so up when I used to come out. Now, as soon as, as, soon as you get finished, they're all taking naps. <laughs> People have little cots, blankets. They're all sleeping. You really, do yourself a favor. Forget the songs, forget the film. Go back to Ireland and do what you do best. You know what I mean? What Hide that? in the house and try to pick off people. You know what I mean? Don't, don't bother anybody in show business. You don't make it in show business. The Abernathy girl, yeah. stunning. Yeah. But I mean, give her some lines. I mean, put her in a window in Macy's like a mannequin with a stick on her back. You know what I mean? I mean, you're ridiculous. The show isn't making it, Regis. I don't know how you hang in there. You're on cable now with some health, what? What is yeah. it called? It's Lifetime. <laughs> you say it like the world knows. I understand it's on downtown Hollywood and it showed in the all-night Pickwood Theater where guys come in with big coats and they smile with funny looks. It's a marvelous show, I understand. Two shows in New York? Yeah, none in America. <laughs> anyway, Hollywood, not one person asked for you. You know when you left? Really? People, people by the airport going... <laughs> <laughs> helping the plane. Hoping, that's right, you explain it to your audience. Helping the plane. Oh, you're so, you're so bright, it's scary. Come on, me. I know you're thrilled to have me. Oh, I you, know that. Are you kidding? I had big names with me. This was a downhill. And then what killed me is when they put your picture up. I swear to God, people were putting stamps on it and mailing it. <laughs> it was ridiculous, your picture. Oh, you my. waited so many years to have me with you. No, I didn't, Regis. Uh, the last time I saw you was with Joey Bishop. That's when I knew you, when you were a humble little guy saying, Joey, please, let me run and let me walk in front of you. If you have to sneeze on me. I mean, the man, I mean, now those were your big days. When you, and you said to me, you think Joey likes me. Now I'll tell you the truth. The man twice went for a revolver. I had to stop him. <laughs> twice he was had the gun pointed at you. But we stopped it. Yeah. And, now, and now your dreams come true. A little local show that doesn't mean anything and a cable show that people see in downtown Hollywood. <laughs> so you're set. You know what I mean? You get about 200 a week. You got the two twins. And you got your lovely wife, Joy, who doesn't have a buck of jewelry. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I saw that show on the Life Cable, Joe. Yeah, right. It's a shame. You're, wearing, you're making her wear those Mickey Mouse beads that you get out of a crane in Coney Island. You know those little things? <laughs> Buy us some jewelry. The woman looks Tell ridiculous. And a like house coat and a broom, too. In the halls here at night. Oh, gee. I mean, to keep a sweet. I saw a judge. What are you doing, Joy? I'll be finished in a minute, Don. I, I just have to do one more haul and then we can keep the room. It was part of the contract. I know. I knew it was part of the Lee Solomon made it. She punches up pillows. Great, your wife. She came in the room and said, What are you doing, Judge? She said, I'm the new maid. It's great what you do for a sweet. Tell me the truth. How do you like my voice? The truth? Yeah. Let me put it to this way If a woman was being attacked, your kind of voice. Would, would probably make them look up. <laughs> I mean, you have, without question, Regis, really, a voice that's not trained, uh -huh. a voice that's never, never studied music, yeah. and it shows so much <laughs> when you're on the stage. <laughs> if you took one singing lesson, you know, possibly like, you know, maybe you could get hot like Deanna Durbin. Mm. <laughs> you know where she is. <laughs> yeah, right. In Paris, <laughs> saying, we'll finish the tower by Friday. She's cleaning <laughs> off the rust at the Eiffel Tower. But really, Regis, uh, the voice is, is cute. Nothing great, nothing uh -huh. dynamite. Mm -hmm. You do, let me tell you this, you do a cute job. You worked in that club in Jersey. That's where I heard club you Club Club Benet, of course. Everybody goes there. I got an uncle. He's a wino. Goes in there, flat out on the bar. They let him stay there all day. He hardened there once. Nobody took him off the bar, and he sort of shit. Listen, it's a very nice club. Who got you that? Lee Solomon? Lee Solomon. Big hot agent. Lee Solomon. <laughs> Lee Solomon runs in traffic and flags down cars saying, do you act? The man is desperate for acts. So that's why he put you with me as punishment, because I once called him Jewish, which he happens to be. And he's trying to keep it quiet. But you have a lot of fun out there every night, whether I'm with you or not, right? Oh, are you kidding? I have as about as much fun as being with Dennis Stein. <laughs> That's about the fun I have. Dennis Stein is dating Liz Taylor now. Yeah, that'll be an hour. <laughs> uh, she'll find out his real personality, and he'll take a cab. It'll be, it'll be over. But we've had an exciting three nights here, haven't we? Oh, I got chills. You kidding? <laughs> my underwear don't go up. It keeps going up and down from the excitement. I swear, my underwear vibrates. Really? Oh. What a, and what the a, crowds have been good? Like they've been dynamite. And not one person by the door says, what time does Regis go on? <laughs> they said, is he still on? You know, like, half the audience comes in after you go off. I swear, I, no, I, they're like this in line. Is he off? Okay, let's get our seats. And they start running towards the seats. I'm sorry, the cameraman. I threw you a movement. They can't handle they can't movement. Handle. No, you have that kind it's of crew. Show. I know. One guy standing there with a baby brownie and another guy behind him with a big box going, is this on, Al? <laughs> Same crew like I left in that room in New York. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is great. You, huh? see, you, get, you don't see clip-ons anymore. 
<laughs> this is terrific. You'll become an you. usher at the lowest stake. Look at you in the robe. Now, you just lounge around till I go out and warm them up and get them all set up for you. No, no, I just sit like this. Hope a girl comes by and I grab her, pull her in the room. See, I love my wife, but my wife has cataracts. So, <laughs> black people think that's a sailboat. But uh, don't worry about it, Regis. Uh, we have a wonderful It's been life. a thrill for me. Hey, Regis, can I tell you something? If we work together again, so help me. I'm going to the VA, and I'm going to be asked to be sent back to Vietnam. The war's over there, but I'm going to just stay there in the jungle and, and blacken my face so nobody finds me. I never want to see you again, Regis, really. Don't come around anymore. The voice is weak. You stink. How's that, Regis? You stink. You're not good. You stink. And stay out of my life, Regis. And keep that AM show off. And never, I never want to see you again. I hope you get a boil on your neck. Now, here's what we're going to do. Over the years, I've interviewed Don Rickles in many, many different situations, many different areas. Uh, we're going to show you some of those tapes. Because we're pressed for time, I've just had to take excerpts from various situations. But uh, you'll understand as we go along what's going on here. Uh, first, let's go to a Tommy Lasorda luncheon 20 years ago at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Don Rickles signing in. Here we go. I'm not here for that. I'm here for the Lipschitz wedding. <laughs> the Lipschitz wedding, no. <laughs> Tommy who? Tommy Lasorda. He's the manager of the Dodgers. He's wanted by the Italian people in Sicily. <laughs> this man is wanted. I know he's wanted. He was in a cave in Salerno with my uncle. <laughs> Look at him smiling like it's a lock. <laughs> he's got a personality like a bad dugout. <laughs> What is your name, sir? <laughs> My name is Regis. <laughs> Regis? Do you wear a dress? <laughs> Hello, Regis. Where's your earrings? <laughs> All right, that'll warm you up. That's good. Now, I have a, a montage of situations. Working from, the, well, f the beginning, we were attending a Frank Sinatra roast. You came in with uh, Bob Newhart. I believe this is Century Plaza Hotel. These are all 20, 25 years ago. I'm interviewing Paul Anka in the uh, parking lot of the Palladium uh, in, in Hollywood. He was doing a TV special there. Don Rickles walked by. You'll see what happens there. Uh, we were at uh, the Beverly Wilshire Hotel uh, for a Sahara Hotel function, and an elderly man cut in line, and he got his. And, uh, and then later, at a Beverly Hilton function for Danny Thomas, uh, Don Rickles got attacked by a woman who, who actually routed him from the scene. So let's begin now with this Frank Sinatra roast, and Don telling me how much he loves my show out in Hollywood. <laughs> Newhart and I get up in the morning watching AM. I remember you when you hung around Joey Bishop and you stood at the stage door and said, help me, anything, a cookie, anything. I didn't know that Give you got job. up. Apples, let me sell apples. Now you're up in the morning and you're going, guess, guess a very tough question. Is Herbert Hoover got his own dam? You better let me say hello to you in a minute. Come over, on, here. Come over here, come over here. How are you, Paul? There's a basket case landing four lines. Yes, can I help you? I'm talking to Mr. Hanker. We don't need any strangers from Ralph's Market, if you don't mind, sir. <laughs> they are looking for some derelict. He seems to been sitting in an alley with a brown bag and a bucket of wine. Just stop it. Go away. Is he singing? Is I'm not telling you anything. Why did I wear this outfit today? Why did I wear this outfit today? you want to get yourself a tree and become a f which you that can't even fall. use, but you're a definite parakeet in that <laughs> trick-or-treat outfit, <laughs> making a fool of yourself. Paul, it's good to see you. Right, God bless you, really. And good luck. He has a great show. Some great big stars are in there. You're and, included? Pardon me? That's you're included? No, I'm on a tour. <laughs> I'm in downtown L.A. on a tour, and the bus got stalled here. And that's why I came by the Palladium. I'm waiting for Lawrence Welk to suck bubbles for a half hour. <laughs> Dumbbell, why am I here? Go away, Regis. <laughs> That's why you'll never be a star. You got some sort of wheezing disease. Who are all your friends here? And what is this party on? I have no idea. I'm with the chef's union. This man here, this is a Chicano, and I'm helping him out. They plan a strike, and I'm going to lead the march. We're going down to Parker Center for a few laughs. Isn't that nice? That's great. <laughs> Hello, Mom. <laughs> ABC News doesn't go to Torrance or anyplace else, does it? No, just stays in town. We stay right in town here. Good. Tell me about your summer plans this summer. You and Newhart going away? For yeah, we're going to go down to the beach and attack a lifeguard. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go to Paris, but you wouldn't know too much about that. It's too long a bus ride. Wait, but this you. guy wants to <laughs> I hate an old guy that's hungry. I hate that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> now you look terrific. Irving Berlin. Anyway, good to see you, Irv. Love you, too. Daddy Simon, ask me to kiss you. Yeah. And this is just some weird woman. <laughs> anyway, everybody wants, everybody wants to be with you. All right, lady, wake up back. Wait, oh, lady. Sorry, lady, can't talk to you. Lady, what do you want from Don? Give me a break. My career is hanging on the floor here. Daddy Simon, ask me to kiss him. All Lebanese was surrounded. 
I don't have a chance. They got the wild eyes, don't okay, they? Okay, God bless. Get the truck. Get the truck. Wait a minute. There's one Lebanese girl. He took over. Wait a minute. There's one Lebanese girl who wants to give you a kiss. Hello, my darling. Will it be a donation? Shalom. Shalom. Uh, Regis, this turned out to be a special, Regis. It's a special. This lady's still watching. I don't know who this lady is. What are you stand? Go downtown Hollywood. Oh yeah. <laughs> Incidentally, uh, this is Don Rickles and myself uh, on his first national TV appearance. I know he likes to think he was on Tonight Show first, but I had a little national syndicated show at That's night, right. so I'm taking credit for that. 1964. And uh, we had uh, three wonderful appearances then. Now we continue. Now we are backstage Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas. Now you would think this hard-bitten uh, show business pro, does he ever get frightened of audiences? Never, except once on a tour of England when he didn't feel the audience knew who he was. It's a great story. Backstage Sahara, Las Vegas in the 70s. English, like they would make fun of us, you know, their, their humor over there was like, hey, a dog came out with tuppence too, and a bone with an ale, and a pot with tuppence. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody's going on the piano and says, I'm not, not, not going to go over. They won't get it at all. Because no. they're doing tuppence, tuppence, too, and dab, and, you know, and a beer of ale, and a point, and a point. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was in shock. So anyway, finally, the new Hart went on. Bob went on, he did his telephone thing, you know, mm -hmm. and he was great. And Bob does something that you could communicate. What am I, you know, yeah. calling a guy an idiot, you know, not going to get screams, maybe. Everybody there was a prince or a count, and there wasn't one prince, there was a dog. There were real princes. You know, you say, here, prince, and a guy jumped on you. <laughs> okay. Finally, after all these years, we are together on stage. At the, at the uh, Resorts International Hotel. Oh, my God. This is into the early 80s now. And uh, I'm in the dressing room right next door to yours, and I had a camera crew there, so I went into his dressing room, and this is what Don had to say about my act with him that night. Hey, Regis, can I tell you something? If we work together again, so help me, I'm going to the VA, and I'm going to be asked to be sent back to Vietnam. The war's over there, but I'm going to just stay there in the jungle and, and blacken my face so nobody finds me. I never want to see you again, Regis, really. Don't come around anymore. The voice is weak. You stink. <laughs> You're not good, you sting. And stay out of my life, bitches. And keep that AM show off. I never, I never want to see you again. I'll be going to boil on your neck. There you go, a little Don Rickles retrospective through the years. That's good. Me and my pal Don. That's good. That's good. We'll be right back with Martin Lawrence. We've got Joe Nice to see you. It's Tuesday, March 19th, 1996. Kathy Lee on vacation. Are you ready for my co-host? You better be, because here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Don Rickles. <laughs> Hi, Don. How are you? Nice to see you. That's it for me. <laughs> Don, Don. Oh, uh, what, a, what a day, huh? Yeah, my pajamas are in the hall. <laughs> Have a seat right here. It's so good to see good you. Good to see you. This has been my life. <laughs> I said to the wife this morning, I said, sweetheart, I'm not going to stay with you. I'm running over to see a guy that I know is not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, Don. Nice and to see you. We go back so many years, so and many finally years. we're together here, taking Kathy Lee's place, which nobody can do. It's <clears throat> but uh... <laughs> how does it feel sitting in Kathy Lee's seat? Uncomfortable. <laughs> no, no, she's a lovely girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, why do you make trouble? Well, I'm not making trouble. I just did. Did you ever work with Kathy Lee? Did I knew when she was Kathy Lee Johnson. We did the uh, President uh, Reagan. Yes. Uh, well, the inaugural, the first, right. the second inaugural here, yeah, and she did with Bush and yeah. Reagan and so forth. And and then uh, I used to walk by and go, "Hi, Kathy." And she kept saying, "Want to go out with me?" <laughs> <laughs> and then Frank was in the hall with a helmet on, hunting himself. <laughs> I don't know. What 
Frank just gets up in the morning and goes, can you tell I'm old? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry. You can't do nothing to me. I don't even live here. <laughs> Ah, Don, it's good to see you. Uh, Listen, Gelman and I just got back. I know you're heading down to Tampa at the end of the week to do a concert down yeah, there. Joan Rivers. Joan, Joan you and She's Joan. a wonderful star. She really is. Well, where are you going to be? Because we're, we're at We're going to be in a hall. Uh, <laughs> the Tampa Bay Performing Arts Center. And Gelman and I were just there yesterday. We did our act at uh, Clearwater and at Sarah. What act? I remember you with an act. Man comes out and does Danny Boy, drops his pants and fires a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's the act. <laughs> I mean, what are you, are you still doing Danny Boy and showing the films? No, no, we're not. That's what you used to do. No. You remember when you worked with me yes, in Westbury? Yes, of course. No, so it, boring. <laughs> <laughs> you got out there, oh, Danny Boy, the pie, and three cops were in the front going, boy. <laughs> I mean, you do all that Irish stuff, uh, Dame. You know, now you, now you have an act. Yes, yes. You don't need a holler. I'm right here. <laughs> Sarasota, thank you very much. Clearwater, thank. Be on the lookout for Don Rickles. I will be working Sarasota at Clearwater. You'll be at Tampa. <laughs> for many reasons. <laughs> Tampa Bay Performing Arts. Tampa Bay, right? So, welcome to New York. Did you have you ha are you having fun here? Oh yeah. I, yeah. I got in the car and the. Uh, was hijacked. <laughs> no, no, I love you. Did you go out last night? Yeah, I was yeah. born and Yeah, of course you were. Of course I went out last night. No, I worked the lobby. <laughs> I was in the hotel folding newspapers for tomorrow. <laughs> Did I go out last night? Of course. Yeah. I went to Coco Pazzo. Coco Pazzo, fine restaurant. Yeah, but they, nobody has cards. They're all walking around going, you anything that They're all talking like, uh, you know, like the boat landed Friday. <laughs> do I have What do you want? Pata? What do you want? Pata? <laughs> How about some butter? You want some butter? I said, are you Italian? No, no, Portuguese. <laughs> any, any stars there last night? Oh, yeah. Sly Stallone was there in the corner, standing up on a table, going, hey, mm. hey. <laughs> so I threw him a boxing glove, and he went away. <laughs> oh, it was nice. We, we had a nice. I was with Jerry Prencio, a friend of mine, and his oh, wife. Oh, yeah, Jerry. Yeah, you don't even know him. What are you going to get? <laughs> Used to be partners with Norman Lear. That's right, they're yeah, very sure. big. Absolutely. Knows Andy Williams who's not here tonight, he's taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to tell you folks something. Everything I say, I did in my dressing room and I laughed by you know what. <laughs> <laughs> so I know it's fun. <laughs> Now, you've met everybody here. You, you've met Gelman once before? Yes, Gelman's a great guy. He was in my dressing room trying on my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and Art, of course. Art I Moore, yeah. yes. Art told me yesterday that you're still giving Gelman the medicine to make him... <laughs> 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 who's the bigger man, Gelman or Art? That's a good question. Who, who is the bigger guy? You've been on this 11 years. Don't you know who's in charge? Yeah, but, but I'm afraid... Who, who is uh, the superior to, uh, in well, that? depends on what you mean. Yes. <laughs> Well, don't make this a test. Just answer the question. Art when is you my hear boss. the bell, go to history. What? Art is my boss, yes. Oh, Art is your boss? Yes. So why did you tell me he's annoying? <laughs> well, he kept uh, saying to me, oh, it's so annoying. I know. Well, now it's come out, see? No, he's a nice man. He came in, he opened the door and said, thanks for coming, and then I slammed it on his hand. <laughs> so annoying. And that's Julian. Hello, Julian. Julian I Abio. I heard a lot about... Julian Abionio. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Let me see your gun. <laughs> You're Italian, right? No, 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 no. He, he, he's Basque. What, that's better? <laughs> Basque is great. You live in Spain and you try to pick off the king. <laughs> that's, that's hey, pick off the king. Folks, read the papers. <laughs> Boy, you get them right off the bus. They I'm just come go, Regis, Regis. We're going to see Regis. There's Mullen. Mullen? Mullen, Mullen man. I know Mullen your father, man. Moon. <laughs> nice to see you, Mullen. You're Irish, right? <laughs> Atta boy, we need you guys for parades. <laughs> nice uh, guy, Mullen. Uh, a lot so of good talk. Uh, they're going to promote you. You're going to get off the floor and get his job and stand. <laughs> they all lay on the floor. Uh, like I, don't, I don't know why he's sitting there, well, why he can't stand up. By the way, I was in Memphis, Tennessee. Have you Where ever been you? to Memphis? Yeah, I have. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I saw a trolley car go by. <laughs> <laughs> and Joan and Rivers and I and my wife and I, we spent our 31st... You know, it's that long. We're married 31 years. How Jeez. about that, folks? 31 years. You know, every time I go past the old Buggy Whip restaurant on the way to LAX, that's where you had your bachelor Jeez, party. I remember that. And I was there, and uh, we had, uh, it was very And funny. Red Buttons played my mother, remember that? Yeah, Red Buttons played your mother. Yeah, dressed up as my mother and did the whole thing. And, <laughs> and they had some tapes of Bob. <laughs> Let the crowd laugh. 
<laughs> they had some tapes of Barbara, you know, before you were married, yeah. talking to your yeah. confidential tapes. Oh, but tapes. I was a happy Jew then, boy. I was. <laughs> now, you know, 31 years, she just lays in the bed with the jewelry signaling ships. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. But you two have remained happily married. Who would have thought that you, you, you were the stud stallion of Las Vegas? I was big. You, 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 it, it, I, hey, folks, you didn't get don't, married don't right me now, but in my day, boy, I used to work with singers. They'd go, Swanee, who is that? <laughs> anyway, but I was very big with singers. I know you were. And I, then I met my wife, and she was like a valium. She, on the wedding night, she just, <laughs> on the wedding night, she just stood in the other room and went, I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> She's a great gal. 31 years. That's right. My Two gosh. children. Like your kids. Your oh, kids listen, are, and are I, grown ups already. I met a guy who tells me that a friend of his, a guy by the name of Man, a young, young guy named Man, is dating, was dating, maybe she still is, Mindy. Man. Oh, I, a guy named Ed Man, I think his name is. You're getting into very dangerous oh. area. <laughs> Let me tell you something. My kid is beautiful and she's she met a guy. She is a knockout. Mm. I don't know how. <laughs> But well, once I came to the bed on an angle. <laughs> <laughs> so she's fine, huh? Yeah, she's she's a lovely girl. She's, uh, she's not, uh, my and my son's a, is a producer and a writer. He's in production and he writes and they're doing very well That's and they good. keep coming over the house for the check. <laughs> <laughs> And, and when I get sick, they all stand by the bed going, come on, Dad, try to reach the medicine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have a trivia question. Oh, and this is exciting. I always watch this, this part of the show. I never miss this. Mm. Do you ever watch our show? Are you kidding? I use it as a nightlight. <laughs> Tomorrow on Live, country great Faith Hill will be here. Mm. Toys for the entire family. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You still sit on the floor and say, watch the train go through the tunnel, Joy. <laughs> Diane Sawyer from Primetime Live, Beautiful A Touch girl. of Class, will be my co-host. Oh, you, you're okay. really picking he can't, it up. He'd like to stay for all week, but, you know, come on. <laughs> well, I need this kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> I got to borrow for a taxi on the way home. <laughs> for kind of... And comedian George Carlin will be here, Great too. Great comedian. All right, now. George appeared, maybe, George appeared in the 1991 uh, film Prince of Tides. What Academy Award, this is Gelman's idea of a tough question. I don't, don't give the answer. No, no, you're kidding. <laughs> what Academy Award winning actress, singer, songwriter, producer, director, also appeared with George Carlin in the Prince of Tides? Okay? Mm. All right, you, mm. you know the answer to that? Of course I know the answer. All right, okay, just wanted to make sure you knew. My heart's racing, it's so exciting. <laughs> Great lineup. What did they? What did they win? A coffee cup? What did they win? Uh, uh, I don't know. To tell you the truth, you well, know. Find out. You're the host. Find out what they win. <laughs> Bottom of it's the. It's on your card. You win two weeks at Regis's house for breakfast. <laughs> A Dupont Comforol sleep product for four dollars. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> the guest today. From what a Martin. cheap gift. Ooh. Martin Lawrence will be here. Great. Right. From a new movie called Race the Sun, Jim Belushi, and of course, the lovely Joan Collins will be here. Let's go right to the phones. Let's go to Texas. North Richland Hills, Texas, Robin Gurner. Hi, Robin. How you doing? Hi, Regis. I'm fine. Hello, Dan. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Great. You've been to Texas? What, do I look like a rancher? <laughs> just, just well, one... Yes, I've been to Texas. It's the United States. I'm a citizen. I've been all over. <laughs> You're talking to me like I worked the fence in Mexico. <laughs> I've been to Texas. So, Robin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, we're, like we're interested. <laughs> no, we are, Robin. I'm just kidding around. Good luck to you. Okay, What's your, what, what kind of bird's your husband? <laughs> what kind of what? Bird. <laughs> She's a Robin. Oh, what is he? I got you. Whoa. Way, way up there. Way ahead of all of us. You're happily married, aren't you, Robin? I sure am. I'm a homemaker. I'm mother of three young children. What is this, a coffee break? <laughs> This is my only relaxation of the day, to watch live with Regis and oh. Kathy Lee, and I love it. Well, yeah. good, Robin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wearing my makeup, but do you like the dress? Oh, <laughs> that's wonderful, Dan. Thank you, sir. All right, Robin, I hope you come up with the answer here. George Carlin, 1991, The Prince of Tides. Who was the lady in that film? It was Barbara Streisand. You got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please, uh, uh, 
I didn't know how to talk. Uh, please pick a number between one, uh, be, be, between between one and one sixty. Okay, <laughs> these are tough things, boy. <laughs> between one and one sixty. Thirty-eight. 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 Congratulations, Rob, and you and our lucky audience member. Winner have both won Dupont Comforel sleep products for all the comforts of a perfect night's sleep. This set of DuPont certified Comforel pillows, mattress pad, and comforter provides ultimate comfort and support from DuPont. The prize is valued at $665. Don't you love that? Taxi! <laughs> we'll be right back. We're going to have a retrospective with Don Rickles. Some of the interviews we did over the years. Right back in a moment. Still ahead on live, actress turned author Joan Collins, comedian Martin Lawrence, and from the new film Race the Sun, actor Jim Belushi. Is that right? Yeah. Don was just telling me that in Memphis during his anniversary uh, dinner, they had a fire yeah, at the John hotel. Yeah, John Rivers, we were all sitting together, and we're sitting there and having a big 31st anniversary party. And, you're, eh, 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 and everybody said, don't worry, don't worry, it's nothing. And five minutes later, smoke was all around. The guy said, <coughs> you, better, you better leave the hotel. <coughs> and Joan Rivers got her two dogs. She left, and I was a survivor. <laughs> But the fireman coming into the building, if you know how these guys are today, I swear to God, the guy walked by and I said to the fireman, on the 12th floor, and the guy said, how long are you going to be in town? <laughs> I said, there's a fire upstairs. He says, I know it, but how long are you going to be in town? <laughs> the guy had did a 20-minute conversation. <laughs> Very casual. Yeah. I was on a plane Friday going down to Fort Lauderdale. In mid-flight, the plane had to turn around and return because somebody had threatened the plane. Oh. Seven hours to get down there. What aggravation, you know? Some I thought you drove. <laughs> no, but it really was a uh, long. Could, that could be scary. Yeah, it is very scary. Yeah, but you were playing if something happened. <laughs> All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. Over the years, I've interviewed Don Rickles in many, many different situations, many different areas. Uh, we're going to show you some of those tapes. Because we're pressed for time, I've just had to take excerpts from various situations. But uh, you'll understand as we go along what's going on here. Uh, first, let's go to a Tommy Lasorda luncheon 20 years ago at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Don Rickles signing in. Here we go. I'm not here for that. I'm here for the Lipschitz wedding. <laughs> the Lipschitz wedding? No. <laughs> Tommy who? Tommy Lasorda. He's the manager of the Dodgers. He's wanted by the Italian people in Sicily. <laughs> This man is wanted. I know he's wanted. He was in a cave in Salerno with my uncle. <laughs> Look at him smiling like it's a lock. <laughs> he's got a personality like a bad dugout. <laughs> what is your name, sir? <laughs> my name is Regis. <laughs> Regis? <laughs> Do you wear a dress? <laughs> Hello, Regis. Where's your earrings? <laughs> All right, that'll warm you up. That's good. Now I have a, a montage of situations working from, the, well, at the beginning, we were attending a Frank Sinatra roast. You came in with uh, Bob Newhart. I believe this is Century Plaza Hotel. These are all 20, 25 years ago. I'm interviewing Paul Anka in the uh, parking lot of the Palladium uh, in, in Hollywood. He was doing a TV special there. Don Rickles walked by. You'll see what happens there. Uh, we were at uh, the Beverly Wilshire Hotel uh, for a Sahara Hotel function, and an elderly man cut in line, and he got his. And, uh, and then later, at a Beverly Hilton function for Danny Thomas, uh, Don Rickles got attacked by a woman who, who actually routed him from the scene. So let's begin now with this Frank Sinatra roast, and Don telling me how much he loves my show out in Hollywood. <laughs> Newhart and I get up in the morning, watching AM. I remember you when you hung around Joey Bishop and you stood at the stage door and said, help me, anything, a cookie, anything. I didn't know that Give you got up. up. Apples, let me sell apples. Now you're up in the morning and you're going, guess, guess a very tough question. Is Herbert Hoover got his own dam? You better let me say hello to you in a minute. Come over, on, here. Come over here, come over here. How are you, Paul? There's a basket case landing four lines. Yes, can I help you? I'm talking to Mr. Hanker. We don't need any strangers from Ralph's Market, if you don't mind, sir. They are looking for some derelict. He seems to been sitting in an alley with a brown bag and a bucket of wine. Just stop it. Go away. Is he singing? Is I'm not telling you anything. Why did I wear this outfit today? Why did I wear this outfit today? You want to get yourself a tree and become a f***? 
Which you that can't even soft. use, but you're a definite parakeet in that trick-or-treat outfit. <laughs> making a fool of yourself. Paul, it's good to see you. Right, God bless you, really. Right. And good luck. as a great show. Some great big stars are in there. You're and, included? Pardon me? Uh, you're included? No, I'm on a tour. <laughs> I'm in downtown L.A. on a tour, and the bus got stalled here. And that's why I came by the Palladium. I'm waiting for Lawrence Welk to suck bubbles for a half hour. <laughs> Dumbbell, why am I here? Go away, Regis. <laughs> That's why you'll never be a star. You got some sort of wheezing disease. Who are all your friends here tonight? What is this party all about? I have no idea. I'm with the chef's union. This man here, this is a Chicano, and I'm helping him out. They plan a strike, and I'm going to lead the march. We're going down to Parker Center for a few laughs. Isn't that nice? That's great. <laughs> Hello, Mom. <laughs> ABC News doesn't go to Torrance or anyplace else, does it? No, just stays in town. We stay right in town here. Good. Tell me about your summer plans this summer. You and Newhart going away? Yeah, we're annual... going to go down to the beach and attack a lifeguard. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go to Paris, but you wouldn't know too much about that. It's too long a bus ride. Yeah, but this guy wants to <laughs> bus. I hate an old guy that's hungry. I hate that. Anyway, uh, now you look terrific. Irving Berlin. Anyway, good to see you, Irv. Love you, too. Daddy Simon, ask me to kiss you. Yeah, and this is just some weird woman. <laughs> anyway, everybody wants, everybody wants to be with you. All right, lady, wait in the back. Wait in the car, lady. I'm sorry, lady, you can't touch me. Lady, what do you want what from Don? Give me a break. My career is hanging on the front here. Daddy Simon, ask me to let kiss go of him. Daddy Simon. All Lebanese were surrounded. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a know. chance. They got the wild eyes, don't okay, they? Okay, God bless. Get the truck. Get the truck. Wait a minute. There's one Lebanese girl. He took over. Wait a minute. There's one Lebanese girl who wants to give you a kiss. Hello, my darling. Will it be a donation? <laughs> Shalom. Shalom. Uh, Regis, this turned out to be a special, Regis. It's a special. This lady still wants I don't know who this lady is. <laughs> <laughs> what are a newspaper stand? Go downtown Hollywood. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Incidentally, uh, this is Don Rickles and myself uh, on his first national TV appearance. I know he likes to think he was on Tonight Show first, but I had a little national syndicated show at That's night, right. so I'm taking credit for that. 1964, and uh, we had uh, three wonderful appearances then. Now we continue. Now we are backstage Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas. Now you would think this hard-bitten uh, show business pro, does he ever get frightened of audiences? Never, except once at a tour of England when he didn't feel the audience knew who he was. It's a great story, backstage Sahara, Las Vegas in the 70s. English, like they would make fun of us, you know, their, their humor over there was like, hey, a dog can have a tuppence too, and a bone with an ale, and a pot with tuppence. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody's going on the piano and says, I'm not, not, not going to go over. They won't get it at all. Because no. they're doing tuppence, seven, two, and they have it, you know, and a beer of ale, and a point, and a point. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was in shock. So anyway, finally, the, the new heart went on. Bob went on, he did his telephone thing, mm -hmm. and, and he was great. And Bob does something that go could communicate. What am I, you know, calling yeah. a guy an idiot? You know, not going to get screams, maybe. Everybody there was a prince or a count, and there wasn't one prince that was a dog. There were real princes. You know, you say, here, prince, and a guy jumped on you. <laughs> okay. Finally, after all these years, we are together on stage at the, at the uh, Resorts International Hotel. Oh, my God. This is into the early 80s now. And uh, I'm in the dressing room right next door to yours, and I had a camera crew there, so I went into his dressing room, and this is what Don had to say about my act with him that night. Hey, Regis, can I tell you something? If we work together again, so help me, I'm going to the VA, and I'm going to be asked to be sent back to Vietnam. The war's over here, but I'm going to just stay there in the jungle and, and blacken my face so nobody finds me. I never want to see you again, Regis, really. Don't come around anymore. The voice is weak. You stink. <laughs> You're not good, you stink. And stay out of my life, bitches. And keep that AM show off. I never, I never want to see you again. I'll be going to boil on your neck. There you go, a little Don Rickles retrospective through the year. That's good. Me and my pal, Don. That's good. We'll be right back with Martin Lawrence. We've got Joan Collins and Jim Belushi, too. That was good.
All right, our first guest is a star and executive producer of the popular sitcom Martin, uh, which he plays the uh, fictitious Detroit uh, talk show host. Now he is also the star, director, co-writer, and producer of a new film called A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Very funny, very talented young guy. Here's Martin Lawrence, everybody. <laughs> Hey, man, you quick. You quick, man. You, you're bad. You're a bad man. He's a bad man. Hey, but, you know, every time I come on here, yeah. Kathy's not on here. I want to meet Cody, too, oh. along with Don Rickles. Well, this looks a little bit like Cody. Okay, okay. So he'll be Cody? Yeah, he'll be Cody. I'll Kathy, get my scooter. Well, next, all right, well, but next time I come on here, we have Don, you. Yeah. Oh, well, this is your show, you and Kathy. Yeah. And Don and me yeah. and Cody all and right. my little daughter. Let's do the show. Come yeah, on. all right. Where do I sit? Martin, right here, baby. It's all good to right. see you again. Thank you very Boy, much. This guy, one of the big hits of the year with Will Smith, the the, uh, the two guys. A uh, uh, bad boys. Bad boys. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. Was, and you're making a sequel to that? Uh, well, Maybe, if huh? they can get it together, yeah, yeah. it'll be nice. It'll yeah. be nice. Well, but somebody got a major movie star in our midst. How do you like that? Yeah, why not? He's a talented guy. Yeah, that's a movie star. Yeah. Casino. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, did you see him in Casino? Go ahead, give us the bit. I didn't like to see him take that beat down. Though. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. A lot of people went. Well, I, I carried De Niro. <laughs> 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 but De Niro got to work with you, so yeah, that, that was a good thing. Right. It was a kick for him. Yeah, you, right. you, Bobby. <laughs> and Sharon Stone at my age, Martin, she was, Martin, she was yeah. a terrible heat for me. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> tell me the truth, Don. Did you get one of them? No, no, I, the, the wife wouldn't go away. <laughs> All right, I understand. So you're a new daddy since we saw you, huh? Yes, okay, yes, I am. And how's that? How's that working out? Changing huh? your life, Martin? Ch it, it, it changes your life, you know, but um, I'm, I'm learning every day, you mm -hmm. know, and... Uh, you know, be a father, it feels good, you yeah. know, and be a husband, you know. Now, when the baby cries in the middle of the night, who gets up? Uh, I, I got a good wife, so she gets up, but, uh -huh. you know, if the baby cries too loud, then I get up. Uh-huh. You know? And then go to work. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a strict father? You, you think you're going to be a strict father? I, I don't know. I don't want to be too strict on them. I, I, I think once once kids get to a certain age, we have to have some kind of understanding of them because they have their own. They they grow. They start to take on sure. their own identities. So mm -hmm. you know, I just want to be able to understand my child so that I can be able to help him if I can. Now, how old is he? She. 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 How she. old? About two months. Two months. Yeah. And the name? Jasmine. Jasmine Page Lawrence. Well, uh, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. A lot of work. Ladies, y'all go through a lot when y'all in that, that delivery room. I had to cut the cord and everything, man. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> Check on the baby, check oh, on the wife. Yeah, man. was there a lot, a lot of, of work, yelling lot and of screaming in there? Yeah, it was, but I had good doctors. See the side night in L.A., uh, Dr. Johnson, all those guys really mm -hmm. took care of me. You know what they took we, care of us, man. You know what they, we weren't, we, we weren't able to go in the rooms and see all that. That's right. You yeah. Know? As a matter yeah. of fact, I talked to a guy last night, Andy Sedaris, who was in the Cedars of Lebanon Hospital in Old Hollywood with you at 4 o'clock in the morning while you were both waiting for your babies. Yeah. You and Andy Sedaris alone waiting out there until the baby was mm. delivered. Mine yeah. came right through the hole. <laughs> Well, that's, that, that's a good thing. They didn't have to stitch nothing no. up. Right, 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 right. That's a, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Well, Martin, you know, you have just, you know, done it all. And now, of course, you're directing your own movies as well, huh? It, this new one called A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it, I mean, I think it's just we're in that kind of time. People are trying to decide what they love and what they hate. And this movie, you know, you're, this world is about relationships, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, in this movie, you know, um, then line between love and hate, uh, Brandy Webb, who's played by Lynn Whitfield, you know, I want to get with this woman for all the wrong, wrong reasons, and I make a bet to get with her, you know, with uh, Bobby Brown, who's, who plays T, and uh, you're not supposed to bet on her. Uh -huh. A woman and a woman's not supposed to bet on a man. And as a result of that, I get caught up into this like fatal attraction kind of thing. She won't leave me alone. Oh, one of those. Yeah, because I'm really in love with somebody else. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You started to play a little game with right. her, and now the game has turned on you. Exactly, yeah. oh, exactly. And she whoops my bleep. <laughs> you know, says, you know. So I go ahead and take the beating for the ladies. I'm going to get you for all women. <laughs> <laughs> 
and, and, and Lynn, Lynn tears me up in there. And, uh, you She's know, a good, good actress. Uh, she played Josephine Baker, right? Yes, she yeah, did. Yes, she, she was, did. She was here. But, but I, I have to say, I couldn't do this movie without all of the support I had. My super producers, Doug McHenry, George Jackson, um, my my band cinematographer, uh, Francis Kenny, uh, my editor, John Carter, uh, all my associate producers. Yeah. And, I mean, just everybody. My line producer, who made sure we didn't go over budget. Right. You know, uh, but Bill the thing Carraro. is, the bottom line yeah. is you making the calls as director, you know, and that's quite a responsibility. And Well, it's quite a re responsibility. You're wearing a lot of hats, and when you wear a lot of hats, it makes your head very heavy, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a lot of responsibility, but, you know, I was just happy that Savoy, New Line, everybody that I got to work with, yeah. I, I was given the opportunity to be able to do it. Don, Don said that he wanted to be in my next movie. You know, all Martin did was lean across me and say to him, I'm happy to meet you, and he said, I'll be happy to do your next movie. <laughs> now, it you, never stops. Well, what am I going to ask you? What are you going to do, a home movie in your house? <laughs> <laughs> this is a big star. I'm, I know. I'm here with Harry Nobody. Hey, you, <laughs> hey, hey that, but that is good. I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, you know, that you mentioned that with, where I have a deal with Columbia, but you know, they're a lot, you know, I'm getting ready to go off and do a movie with Disney called Nothing to Lose with Tim Robbins, who, you know, Ooh, was nominated for director, mm -hmm, sure. best director. Right. And, um, it's called Nothing to Lose with Disney. Mm -hmm. And Don, have your people call their people. <laughs> <laughs> we so got a deal here. Put Don in, put Don, put Don Rickles in the movie Nothing to Lose with me and Tim Robbins. You got a hit, man. You got a hit. Did I, did I tell you this will be a turning point in your career? <laughs> and sure enough, a movie offer is poured in. My pants are wet. <laughs> we got a great soundtrack in this movie. It's called The Thin Line of Love and Hate right there. Good soundtrack. Stuff. That's the soundtrack. And if you're riding in your car and, and you didn't see the movie, you, it's like you saw the movie. But see this movie and hear the soundtrack because you know how it all goes together. We ain't got much time, but all right. I'm glad to be here. Thank it you. comes out April 3rd. I was on you. a lot with you. Right one about back with John yeah, Collins. At, at, at Hollywood Studios. We were at the Eddie Still ahead on live actor Jim Belushi. Good. Having a good time? Yeah. Oh, it's great with you. Yeah. All right, you remember the Dynasty series? Are you kidding? Joan was oh, tops and One still of is. the most beautiful women in Hollywood. She sure is. The scheming vixen Alexis Carrington on that Dynasty show. She's also known for her best-selling novels. She's written a number of books. Here's her latest one. This one's already on the bestseller list over in England and is uh, making inroads right here on the bestseller list in the States. Here's the lovely Joan Collins, everybody. <laughs> How are you, darling? Nice to see you. Oh, hey, how, how are you? How are you? Sure. Hi, nice to see you. Hello. Hey, you look great. Oh, Have thank a seat. You. Thank you. What a becoming you. color, huh? Don't you oh, think? It's not that easy to wear this color, actually. Clashes with my book cover. So. <laughs> oh, hey, you should have been nominated for an Oscar for Casino. How about I thought you, you, you were wonderful. wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Really Wasn't sharp, wonderful? yes. He Thank really you. was Thank very you compelling you. and to, you know, hold the screen with De Niro and <laughs> well, all eyes easy. were on you. Fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you, Joan. That's very sweet of you. No, it was great. Oh. Thank you. Good. good movie. Joan, it's good to see you. Gee, it's you've been making so many headlines in the papers in the last yeah. couple of weeks with that big lawsuit against Thank Random you. House. And, yes. Yes. and you won. I won. A good yes. for you. Yeah. You know, I never understood. I never understood that suit. They commissioned you to write two books. They yes. gave you the advance, yes. and then they wanted it back. They wanted the advance back, but you know, they didn't want it back immediately. They waited until Swifty Lazar dies, mm. you know, you know, uh -huh. because they didn't want to antagonize him because he was a very tough man. So five weeks after he died, they asked for it back because then they didn't care if they tried to wreck my career or <laughs> or if um, he was angry because he, <laughs> he wasn't around <laughs> to be angry. Sure. But it was um, it was a totally about a contractual dispute, mm -hmm. totally, in which they, um, they played another card. They played the card of let's trash her, let's ruin her career, let's say she can't write. You know, I have had a few best-selling books. Absolutely. And, I mean, and this one before in You've written about six books before this one, yes. right? Yes. Yes, I have. Was so. it tough going to court every day? Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> Horrible. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It's very tough because everybody's looking at you. Um, and the court TV thing that's there all the time, that is particularly nerve-wracking mm -hmm. because you just know that everybody's looking at you for... And I am the sort of person that shows 
my emotions on my face all the time, so I'm trying to keep stone-faced. Um, but a couple like of times you did. Oh, I you know. Did I saw up, the yeah. court TV. It was so embarrassing. Yeah. Well. I, I looked like I'd won the pools <laughs> <laughs> or the lottery <laughs> when I went. I was. I was very thrilled. But this is not that book. This is an altogether different book. No, um. this is a different book. But I did rewrite the courtroom scene at the beginning from my own experiences. It starts with my heroine, Catherine, coming out of court mm -hmm. after a particularly nasty court case. And so I, I rewrote it because it was also fresh in my mind. Yes, yeah, sure. But no, this is a book about a. Um, a glamorous and very sad television superstar in a television super series who um, has got a very miserable and sad and misunderstood life and is looking for love in all the wrong places. Wow. And finally yeah. finds it thinking yeah. it's in the right place but it isn't. And so it's a, it's a novel of betrayal and it's um, based quite a bit on something that happened to me a few years ago. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's based on my life and dynasty actually. Mm, yeah. no a lot of that, yes. Really? A lot of it is. Was that a sad period for you personally? Yes. It was very oh. sad. Oh. Yes, I was going through a lot of very difficult times at that particular time, but mm -hmm. I didn't let anybody know. The show must go on. Yes. And then I thought that I thought that everything was going to be sort of okay because I met this man who I thought was absolutely wonderful. Of course, all my friends knew he wasn't, but um, they said, you're not going to marry this guy. You can't, you can't, you can't. And but I did. You did. Yes, and that was a and big, they were big right. mistake. They were all right. Oh. All of you why who said it? no, you were right. But yes. why is it a joke? Lucky I didn't send the gift. <laughs> <laughs> But why is it that Joan Collins, you know, as experienced, as knowledgeable, as wise as she is, wouldn't know that? I don't know, because I think that there's such a thing as getting sucked into somebody's magic aura, mm -hmm. um, which is what I did. And um, I think that in the book, in Infamous, I painted this character as the most attractive, wonderful, funny, amusing, uh, good-looking, sexy man that you could possibly ever meet. Mm -hmm. Which is not exactly like the husband was, but I made him a lot better. Close. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So that you can understand why, why Catherine does it. I don't know. I think that women, unfortunately, I do think it's true that women have much more of a romantic streak than men, and I think that I... What is it about a man that a woman, that women admire the most? Is it uh, personality? Is it looks? <laughs> if what? this was an English program, I could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In England, she oh, no, can really yes, tell you. <laughs> no, I think, actually, do you know, I think it's humour. Humour? Yes, In other absolutely. words, you, you would find yes. a guy like Don Rickles would be very attractive to you. Oh, yes, yes, but Barbara's already got him. I know, <laughs> but <laughs> don't fight. Don't fight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I think that humour and also I think being a friend is the most important mm -hmm. thing in a relationship mm -hmm. and being each other's best friend. And well, that. tell me now, I'm just curious, are you over that period of your life? Are, 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 and the, you won the lawsuit and you're writing these books? Yes. Is this a better time for you? Oh, much better, yes, absolutely. I've been in a very good relationship for eight and a half years. We're not going to get married. We don't need to get married. Marriage is for children as far as I'm concerned. And um, I'm doing what I love which is that I'm writing a lot, and I'm also, you know, I, this has been optioned for a, uh, a, a movie of the week, miniseries. Could you play the, I think you yes, could. Yes, I could, like put a mohair blanket over the lens. and. <laughs> <laughs> of course I could, it's based on me. Well, sure, yes. well, why yes, don't we? You're going to do it, aren't you? Well, I, yes, that's part of the deal, actually, I think that, I, that, I, that I play, I but it's a, well. I think she's very attractive, don't you? You're not looking, of course she is. <laughs> Thank you. Of course she is. I think you're both very attractive. Do you really? Well, yeah, but he so gives a better performance in the movie. Isn't <laughs> <I mean? laughs> Too yeah. bad. <laughs> Darn it, missed again. Here it is, and Joan Collins, incidentally, at Barnes and Nobles on Fifth Avenue at 12 o'clock, making a special uh, personal appearance and autographing a book on Fifth Avenue, Barnes and Nobles. All right, Joan. Thank you, darling. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. Well, it's good to see you again. Good luck to you. Yes. Yeah, we'll be right back with Jim Belushi. Exactly right. <laughs> Isn't that fun? You get to walk out and, and uh, work with the audience there for a few minutes? Oh, are you kidding? It's a treat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, where else are you going to be? You're going to be in Tampa Bay, and then you're going into Not Arizona. Tampa Bay? I'm, what am I, on a fishing trip? <laughs> We're going to be at the Tampa, Bay, Tampa Art Center. Yeah, Tampa Bay Art Rivers, Center. With John Rivers, God yeah. bless. And then we're going to go to Fort Lauderdale. 
and then I'm going to go to Denver, Denver? Colorado, the Paramount Theater, yeah. and then I'm going to go to Phoenix to Union Hall. Wow. Outside there, do where college kids are, and then they'll show up, we'll do the rah rah fight songs. <laughs> and then I go back to LA and lay on the couch and watch the wife go, thousand and seven thousand. Know? <laughs> Big paydays. All right, our next guest began his career with Chicago's Second City improvisational comedy troupe, can be seen opposite Halle Berry in Race the Sun. Uh, inspired by a true story uh, by some uh, apathetic teenagers and their triumph in building a special solar race car. Here's Jim Belushi. <laughs> the big Belushi. Hey, hey, hey how you doing, man? Good to see you. Long time, Jim. Good to see you. How are you, long man? Long time. It's a long time. Good to see you. Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. How many years ago was that? They worked About together Saturday 16, Night Live. 16, 16 years ten, ago. Ten years ago, yeah, probably. I got makeup on his... Oh, yeah, my new suit. My new Donna Karen suit. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> Saturday Night Live. Yeah, oh, he was hysterical on that show. He had a lot of fun in those days. Well, too. we had cue cards, we had lines, and Don just didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, kid, hold the card. He just made it up. We just won. <laughs> you were very funny. We and you were great in Casino. Oh, geez, that I want to tell you. This oh. is a tribute to Casino. I want to tell you. I saw that movie and I saw you in that movie. What? It's done. It's done. You were great, man. I only had one problem. You know, the, that old method school, you know, De Niro, you go, where are the, where are the guns? And he'd go, <laughs> and the whole movie I was doing, huh? <laughs> but he was great. It's yeah. a lot of fun to be with. It's like being alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, you were great, man. I was really proud of you. Thanks, thanks a million, Jim. You good luck in your new film. Oh, yeah, Good bro. things are happening for you, huh? Always, always doing something. Movie coming out? A sitcom uh, in the works? Sitcom in the works. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about that sitcom. I saw it on the paper today. Yeah, I saw that in the And they had a too. figure. I don't know if you saw this, Don. $16 million to the big Belushi. Oh, oh man. man. $16 million. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> you want more. I double it. <laughs> double it. I got to take Don out. I got to take him, you know, <laughs> yeah. fishing in Tampa. What's the sitcom about? Is that... Uh... Well, st we're still working out the storyline. Uh, Chuck Lorre, who, uh, who wrote and produced Sybil and uh, Grace Under Fire is doing this, and he really has a talent to write to your voice. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we're still working out the storyline. So good, well, that's yeah. great. It's a very funny idea. He's a very talented guy, you know. Not only oh, Jimmy, actor, Jimmy. but he also uh, as Dan Aykroyd's son. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and has his own band. Yeah, yeah actually, the, I got a band at the, play at the House still of Blues. House of Blues. The House of Blues. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Danny I saw and Danny I. the other night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's him and I are partners in the House of Blues in Los Angeles. A hot hot club on uh, And you on play the, the harmonica in the band? Uh? I play a harmonica in a couple songs, but uh -huh. uh, I mainly sing. Well, you're you're not a threat to Bruce Willis, then. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bruce and I are going head-to-head -head in, oh, you yeah. know, the Battle of the Bands. But, but you uh, played for the president. I played for President Clinton in September at the House of really? Blues. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. And that was he, scary. You know, did he say anything to you? No, he was smiling and yeah. nodding and, and going, you know, he knew all the words to Viva Las Vegas. I really? mean, yeah, he was... <laughs> He was Wait mouthing the words. Viva Las Vegas. Yeah, right. Shut up, Rick. Really. <laughs> Hollywood legend, an entertaining audience of more than a half a century now, recently wrote his memoir detailing his early career as a struggling comedian and then what happened on the way to the top where he stands right now of comedy. Mm. Rickles' book in the stores right now, and please welcome America's newest author, Don Rickles. <laughs> How's the family? Good, good. Mark's good, the family's Mark is well, good. the kids the are doing great. Are God bless. Great. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. Thank you. And I want to tell you, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good to talk to you. It's so good you've to been talk my, to you. You've been my life. You've been my life. <laughs> you smell good. God bless you. Oh, you smell good. You smell good. Gotta lose some weight. I'm <laughs> trying Have a good meal, Kelly, otherwise you're gonna be on the floor. <laughs> Hi, ladies. What is this, a cookout? <laughs> Look at this. They must have got up at 6 in the morning to Absolutely. watch this trick-or-treat show. Right. That's right. That's what they do, Don. This is the big show in New York. Why? This, why? Why is this a big show in well, New York? Well, because... Cali I'm in California. I turn it on in the morning. You know why? Why? Because when there's a storm, there's no lights. <laughs> No, this is great. You're both doing a wonderful job. How's, how's the family? Oh, <laughs> so good. Thank you, 
my God bless. Life. Thank you. But he's not kidding. Every morning he sits there in bed and he watches our show. No I do. Kidding. I do. Yeah, but I'm, I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm married 42 years and she's on the other side going, is it dawn yet? <laughs> We married 42 years, Kelly. 42 That's a goal. Years. He's Incredible. married, what, 30? 37. 37. We had dinner last night. Is Incredible. <laughs> you know, that, that doesn't happen anymore. What, what's your They secret? always say in Hollywood, right? They break yeah, up. That's and, right. No, no. I got a wife, great. Just sits there with the jewelry and in a coma. <laughs> We have a great life together, really. Yeah. She's home now watching this. I think it's clever, but you, you exaggerate the way I talk. <laughs> she does talk like that. That's why I married a Valium. <laughs> There's one lady on the end that's stunned while we're talking. She's sitting there with the, with the sunglasses on the forehead like this. <laughs> it, lady, it's a show, not a zoo. For crying out loud. <laughs> no, nice people. That's, how'd the black guy get in here? <laughs> Good to see you, baby. <laughs> You're laughing. I put to check your room. <laughs> Incidentally, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Yes, Don turned uh, 81. 81. You don't win a prize. <laughs> 81. And still going strong. And you were great on Letterman last night. Yeah, I, I, uh, thank you. I, they, I got good remarks about it. I thought did you? it was a lot of fun. Dave, Dave's a great... In fact, we invited him for dinner. That's right. We did, oh, Kelly. Uh, I'll talk to Kelly. He was just so dull. <laughs> <laughs> but did he show up? He never shows no, up. No, but he picked up the check. Oh, he d no. Is that Honest, true? Well, if it was Regis, he'd go, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, no. Anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's a big sport. <laughs> Listen, but That's right. At the end of the dinner, you know, paid the bill. The guy said it's all taken care David of. David said, "Who did it? No, Mr. Letterman." Yep. Wow. Yeah. He'll pay anything. That's what he. That's what he'll he pay anything said. not to have dinner with us. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great remark that Kelly made. You haven't heard that in years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> let's get some skates and go to school. All right. Let's talk a little bit about this book. Yeah, some, uh, some of the pictures in it. This is. Look at this friendly little baby right here, Don Rickles. <gasps> Growing Jackson up in Jackson Heights, Heights Queens. How about that? Oh, sure. Sixty some hundred years ago. And then with your dad, who was kind of like your inspiration. He yeah. was a fun guy, right? Yeah. yeah it was. Did they encourage your your comedy career? Well, in, in those days, it wasn't. A, we didn't know what we were going to want to be an actor, you know. Right. So I, sure. I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. How I got in there, don't ask me how. I, I, <laughs> to this day, I don't know how. But with people like Tom Poston, who we just lost, rest his soul, and Jason Robots, rest yeah. his, and. When I think about it, they're all dead. <laughs> my, my son goes up to my, my study where I work, and, mm -hmm. and he comes up there, and he goes, pictures all on the wall, and he goes, dead, dead, <laughs> dead, critical, hanging on the ropes. <laughs> cancer, cancer, dead. That's my father's friends. <laughs> but thank God, you're, we're dear friends, and you're in good health now, because they stepped on your heart, and everything's working okay. That's right. <laughs> Here's the best friend you ever had, your mother, yeah, Edna. Right. Yeah, that's my mother. Yeah, terrific lady, and uh, she was with you right through the whole thing, right? She was, yeah, she was sort of a Jew pattern. <laughs> yeah, she was a very strong lady. You know, you know the type, you go to Radio City Musical, she said, Where is the line, please, <laughs> for the tickets? And I go, Ma, will you hold it down, please? <laughs> Don't, what are you, self-conscious? Stop it. Our tickets, where's our tickets? <laughs> and the guy in the front, his hat goes, <laughs> And then through the years, befriended all of the giants in our business, including the one and only Frank Sinatra. Oh, he was the guy. And yeah. do you miss Frank? But, yeah, but I, I make jokes about him now because I can, you know, he's dead. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I said it today, you know, I'd be on Jerry Lewis's telephone. <laughs> walk on, walk on. <laughs> oh, and here's the lovely Barbara. Yep. That's oh, us my on, gosh. That's us on top of the cake. <laughs> Eight years old when you got married. Right. Yeah. Had a problem. What Did was you? The problem? Yeah. I used to sit in the bathtub and make it bubble. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a long story. Well, well, you hadn't met the right person is one reason That's why. A, you, hey, what are you, a detective? No, but. <laughs> I but hadn't a, met the right person. You hear that, no, gang? But believe it or not. I have a stage manager went, is he talking to me? <laughs> yeah, forget Gelman for 20 minutes. <laughs> tell Gelman what you told me, how you're fed up with him giving you orders. <laughs> <laughs> and Arch, it's alone over there. What are you, a leper? <laughs> Staff here, Kelly. I mean, we're all spread out. I know all about it. All watching, all watching a guy to see if you go. <laughs> <laughs> you feel all right? You feel okay? I feel fine. Starting to sweat a little bit. No, don't don't no, go on us now, kid. Don't, don't go on us yourself. now. No. Kelly's on the phone. Mark, he's going. <laughs>
<laughs> Mark, put on your suit and get your ass <laughs> over here. <laughs> Bill Paul's will come right back with Don Rickles in a moment. Don Rickles, incidentally, will be appearing in Las Vegas at the Golden Nugget May 25th through the 27th. And uh, and look, let's let's go let's go into our days together. Now you started here with Frank, right. many many years all over the world, all over the country with Frank Sinatra, and you wound up. Just leave the thing on. Uh, uh, you wound up with the me. thing. It's not a thing. Well, the camera is what I'm trying okay. to tell him. Leave the thing and the camera on. Yeah. There you go. Okay. You were, see, look how happy you are that you're with me. Son of a gun. In resorts in the Atlantic City in the old days. Look at your outfit. Look, somebody threw a bucket of chalk on you. Look at it. <laughs> what are we? I'll get it. <laughs> look at this shot here. There we are. Yeah. Two guys looking for broads. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, my God. That look was at our that. first appearance on TV together. Look at that. I, that Regis Philbin show, it was yeah, called. You look like a stick. <laughs> what about you? I'm handsome. <laughs> there we are. Aww. In the dressing room? Oh, on this show, as a matter of fact. Years ago, yeah. You yeah. came actually came live on the show. That's great. And here we are. Uh, yeah, oh, that's, that's in the dressing room. That's hey, hey Regis, are we adorable? <laughs> Are we adorable or what? Love you, Don. Yeah, <laughs> that was great, Don. Yeah, okay, but, yeah, that was good. That was enough for you, you have to write in the office. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I haven't hung Remember up. Remember when you took the driving test? All right, hold it again. <laughs> I'll put, put, don't you have an assistant? Please. <laughs> You're on your own up here. Don't you understand? Forty million guys off camera, and the two of us are where did the cards go? <laughs> and the dummy assistant's going. Cards? <laughs> what cards? And he's sitting over there saying, my outfit looks great. <laughs> I'm Art, I'm Art Moore, and I look great. <laughs> By God, I don't know what my job is. What is his job? <laughs> Kelly, what is his job? We no one know. knows. Nobody knows. We don't know what his what job is. He's Peter LaSalle. That's what he That's is. That's what he is. We dress him up on Halloween, usually like Wonder Woman, and we spin him around and yeah. watch him fall down. And you know, Kelly, minutes. but I must say, he's very stylish. You are yeah. stylish, Sharp. He's a good And when looking you came man. in the dressing room and said to me, I got to go out there with them again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweetheart, I only tell the truth, and God bless you, you're going to get a better job. You really are. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be, uh, you're going to be uh, Gelman's helper at his other house. <laughs> and pick up cards like I do. <laughs> so are you excited about tomorrow night's appearance at the 92nd Street Y? Oh, I'm going to drop my pants and fire a rocket. <laughs> The joke Letterman loves. That's he loves that joke. Love that joke. I saw you heard you him love say to that. the desert, my friends. To the oh, desert. Oh my God! When you review the movies, you go back to Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Years ago, Kelly, I used to say on the stage, I used to say, "To the desert, my friends," and I forgot about it. Now he comes. We work to together. To the desert, my friends. That's what I get to every night desert. in the dressing room. To the desert, my friends. <laughs> to the desert. I'm like a moron. I get a sheet and throw sand over me. <laughs> To the desert, my friend. But tomorrow night should be exciting. What are we going to do? You know, that's a huge deal. I don't yeah, think either one of you deal. really He doesn't realize. understand. No, it's no, Kelly, you're saying. No, I, I appreciate it. It's a big deal. Yeah, and I have, I have friends that are going. Tom oh, really? Authors yeah, all over deal. the world have appeared there. But my only problem is uh, he's going to be the host for me and mm. introduce the, the whole setup. And we're going to show some film. He's in some film. And we'll talk about the book. And uh, the only problem is they're going to bring up about his heart operation. And who cares? I mean, <laughs> they're going to say well, Rickle's book. And then he's going to go. The left bone was cut away. Right, yes. Up into my elbow, under my thigh, <laughs> through my groin, up into my mouth, and now everything works. Yes. That's what he does. Well... And you didn't have one Jewish doctor operate on you. Not one. Every time you go to Mount Sinai in, in Los Angeles, so, yeah, see the Sinai, Dr. Lipschitz, Dr. Katz, Dr. Makowitz, you had Ed Johnson, Tommy Thompson, Ed Finney. And these are guys that come in with a hammer going, bang, 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 bang! <laughs> Working out. <laughs> Jews go in with gloves and class. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead, Lou. He's dead. <laughs> oh. that, it, the same thing happened. Same thing happened with the, with the Larry King. You yeah. know? Sure, right. Yeah. By the way, Larry King. You know what happened? His neck went into his throat. <laughs> King, he loves it. Oh, yeah. God? Yeah. You know what he does? There's Larry King. Yeah. Larry King goes and gets on the air. Mr. President, he's with the biggest oh. people in the world. <laughs> Mr. Senator so-and-so, oh, God bless you, Captain Johnson, Mrs. World, so-and-so, Mr. Vice President, boom, dissolved. Now I'm alone with him. Larry, how do you feel? Do you think I should have the corned beef lean? <laughs> 
should I have maybe a poached egg? What do you think? <laughs> it becomes a little Jew from the neighborhood. A little poached egg, maybe I can. <laughs> Larry, you're on. Mr. President, how do you feel? What's, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow night. And I thank you, Regis, on, on, the, on the truth. First, I want to say two things. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this, the, the, you just belched. I did no. not. I, I, I did not belch. He cleared his throat. I know I cleared, a belch when I hear it. I you cleared belch. my throat. I was just about to say something nice here. Uh, I did. <laughs> you heard it. What did I do? You belched. I I'm did not belch. I want his name taken and I want him thrown out of here. <laughs> no, I want to say something serious. I tell you, this is the truth. God bless you. We've been friends for many, many years. And for you to come over to the Y tomorrow is a wonderful treat for me. And God bless you with your health. I'm delighted you're doing so well. Thank you, Doc. And this lovely lady has been a big supporting person for you. And, and of course, Joy. And Barbara and I, we love you very much. And again, thank you for all your support and the help with the book. I appreciate it. You want me to hold the book up now? Yeah. There it is. The Rickles book he right loves, there. He loves you more than anyone. He loves you. Oh, Knocks them every which way but loose, Saturday at 11.30. Coming up next on Live from Marina Del Rey is Hollywood's original Mr. Nice Guy, Don Rickles. He hasn't had a nice word to say since he had hair, and that was a while back. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you. Nice to see you. Guess who's not here? Pick on us anyway. We also have Stephen Bauer, wonderful actor. He was in uh, that great movie, Scarface. Boy, he's a good-looking dude, dog. Wait a second. What did I say? Wait a second. Now, uh, by the way, good to see you off the no. ship. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll make Frank feel at home. 27 blue! Anyway, uh, when you played football, I'm a friend. You were lousy. Anyway, uh, no, it was a great football play with the Giants, and I must say, Kathleen, it's so good, and I know how delighted you are that Regis is downstairs critical. Anyway, uh, Kathy said, mine. it's Hollywood, it's all me. Who needs that midget downstairs? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's a little humor. <laughs> she's wonderful, and Frank's married to her, and she's going to get every dime he's got. <laughs> anyway, uh, and Frank doesn't have much except ABC Sports on Monday night going, run, run! You don't see Jewish guys playing football. We, we usually own the stadium. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Well, that's the truth. What a smart-looking crowd. Everybody's in their underwear sitting here with sunglasses. But it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for me to be on a show that's not going to make it. And I really want to tell you, all of Hollywood is talking about you people on the roof, because if this don't make it, Frank's going to do a half gain it. It's one of those boats out there. But, Kathy, I want to wish you a lot of luck in your marriage. I really Thank think you. you made an error. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't picture him making love. <laughs> well, he sits in his bathrobe with a helmet on. Anyway, uh... I want to wish you a lot of luck, Frank. You're a great athlete. <laughs> Sit down, rest. Kathy, I'll give you a call in an hour. Okay. I'm happily married, but I am in heat. Anyway, uh, take care of yourself, and I'll see you around. I'm going to visit Regis you and are. find out if he's well. Because this man was on the bed, and the doctor kept saying, snap out of it, Kathy. He's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Can we go get Regis alone. right now? I got to go that way. Leave me alone. Okay. Leave me alone. Go get and Regis. get rid of the nurse out of it. All right. Don Rickles. <laughs> What did I say? I guess he's on his way to see Reach. Oh, what okay. a pair that's going to be. I guess next up we're going to find out if Regis is really sick. And, and who could find out better than Don Rickle? He'll take his temperature, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll be right back. Where's that Regis? i got to see this guy. Man won't survive the day. Will not survive the day. Where is this man? Look how quiet it is. Oh. Don, I'm over here. Oh. Oh, no. They said you were sick, but, I mean, get some wax. This man's gone. It's over. Listen, I don't want to catch... Where's my mask? I don't want to catch anything. First of all, would you like a real good physical? <laughs> anyway, gosh, you look so bad, Regis. They gave me a mask and everything to no, check you okay. out. No, it's not, it's not contagious. Hey, I'm a friend. No, I don't want to touch you. Really? No, no, I don't need it, Regis. I... I gotta be honest, I was just upstairs with, with Frank and Kathy. They've How been they knocking you. There? They've been knocking you. They don't care about you, Regis. Really? Now the two of them are up there. Frank's laughing. He says, this guy's never gonna come back. Never. Yeah. They're happy I'm a, together. And I'm a friend. Now that yeah. I see you. Yeah. You got about a week. <laughs> shaky. Tell me, shaky. Tell me the truth. Now, I know you're a devout Catholic. Yeah. Do me a favor. Yeah. Go to church. Go to confession. Go, no, no. But if you go to confession, you'll be there for two days in a booth. Exactly. Don't go to confession. <laughs> just, why, why are they talking? Why I don't talking? know. I don't know. Look at you, though. Look at your eyes. Bad? Hi, let me just listen. Oh, it's a 
guilty of shame. You could have been the biggest thing in Hollywood. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Now it's going to get all over me and I'm going to get sick. My luck. i got to get sick. Okay, now listen. Tell me what's going oh, on up there. Are they doing well? Do you think they're really in love? To be honest, yeah. she's dressed like a nurse. Yeah. And he looks like, you know, yeah. he's out of it. He's out of it. I think the, the man has, I think, too many punts in the face. <laughs> when he played ball, they kicked and it backfired right in the face. Too much. He looks, and the neck is not in the show. Uh-huh. All right. He's much older. All right. She, I, I think he takes her in the park and lets her play on the toys. It's murder. You got a happy marriage, though. I saw your wife. Joy's around, yeah. Looks like a closet hitter. But uh, don't worry about it. Tell me what's going on out here in Hollywood. Has, has Frank Everything. Sinatra called to Why ask... Why do you stay in this hotel? Why don't you get a smart suite or something? This is the... When I'm in New York, I stay in the best. You're sitting here. Look at this. The, the, the pillows are gone. This is a magnificent hotel. Uh, you is... don't go for nothing, Regis. I know you were tight with the buck. You always have been. This is the presidential you know, suite. Cheapy, cheapy Regis. Presidential cheapy. suite of the Marina Beach Hotel. Oh, wonderful. I'll drop my pants and fire a flare. <laughs> now, has Sinatra called to ask how I am? Frank... I tell you this: if a bus hit you, I don't, th and you were pinned under the wheels, I don't think he'd look up. That's what Frank thinks of you. you know, I'm a friend. I, you know, I know the man. You know what bothered me? I missed dinner with you and Ed McMahon last night. What a break for me, because I know you wouldn't go to the pocket. Who picked up the check? Ed would have, but he didn't know he was there. He drank one martini and took. Oh, was he drinking martinis? Now? No, he's doing great. He's a sweet friend and doesn't his lovely he order, wife Victoria. Doesn't he order the wine and the brass? No, no, no. <laughs> he did that once, and we thought we had a ship on our hands. He started off. Smoke started well, what coming did out of his nose. What you talk about all night, you and Ed? We talked about Johnny and how we're going to get rid of him. Yeah. And then we just discussed you for about a second and a half. Yeah. Then a fly died in my drink and we went home. <laughs> but I mean, you're not too stimulating, really. A lot of things are happening here in Hollywood. You're locked in the room. Tell me all about it. I oh, know it's it great. Oh, I mean it, Sophia Have you Loren. Seen President Reagan. Huh? Yes, I saw him. And you know what he said to me? Huh? Anyway, I don't know what it is with him. I kept saying, Mr. President, you look great. Huh? We had a lot of that. Huh? And there were so many Secret Service guys around with the earphones, yeah. there was water on the floor, and I shorted out. <coughs> I apologize. Oh, it's all right. Germs all over. The audience is going to get it. Frank's upstairs now with Kathy Lee going, he's going to die. He's going to die. It's going to be my show. My dream came true. And you're going to be down here with little Joy with the little white robe just sitting there. Look at your arms. Wow. How long have you had that? That's native rot. Your I arms. lost about uh, 10 pounds. Huh? I lost I'd about say 10, 20. 20. A good yeah. 20, yeah. You look, so you look tell me about Reagan. How does he look? Ronald Reagan, he, yeah. he looks okay. Yeah. I think when he retired, it was the right move. The right, the right yeah. time if to go. Went, if he went four more, we'd have a lot of trouble. And Nancy? Uh, she was okay. Yeah. She kept telling Ronnie he looks good. <laughs> anyway. Uh, now, what else is happening? Tommy Lasorda, the Dodgers Open training. He's in great. Beach. I was with him the other night, and we had spaghetti, and uh, I put Goodyear on his backside, and he <laughs> flew right away. over the table. <laughs> Man's well, about 300 pounds, and he keeps saying, uh, Dodgers are going to win it all. <laughs> and little raviolis come out of the He's mouth. got a restaurant. He's got a restaurant here in the Marina. Yeah, don't go there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you eat you eat fungo bats. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Now, right, didn't right. they have a last uh, night roast for him? Didn't they call you? Didn't they sort of plead with you to come? And yeah. Got on his knees, sucked my ankle. Yeah. Really. Dragged me all over the floor. Please, Don, please. But he had Tony Martin in the wings. Going, nah, 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 nah. And I told him to go away. He was annoying altogether. Yeah. And uh, I entertained for Tommy. And he, he just sat there and he kept saying, I'd like to meet my friend Vinny Bombaz, Charlie Magazzano, Aldo Bobonini, and two ball players from the Dominion Republic saying, Tommy, love me. Tommy, love me. And they were spitting on the floor. Tommy, love me. What a game. What a game. Sure. Real dummies, yeah. real dummies. Well, you got rid of him. He's out of your life. Uh, Tommy, if, 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 unless they win it again, then I'll have to kiss as you know what. Yeah, right. But if they don't, I'd That must have been exciting in the fall here in Los Angeles when they won the championship. Oh, it was too Were rough. you at the ballpark? No, no. I was outside going, get your programs. Of course I was at the ballpark. Sure you were. Had great seats. In, in the clubhouse? The I went in the clubhouse, but when they take off the shirts. <laughs> Bam, huh? Murder, murder. <laughs> it's like an old gym. <laughs> Terrific. But I was there speaking to now, all the guys. Now, what's going on in you? I understand you're going to be on the Newhart show. That's going to be great. March 13th. Terrific. Bob Newhart finally realized that I can help him. Absolutely. Now, will you play Rickles or will you play a character? No, I'm going to play a Mongolian fighter pilot. <laughs> no, I'm playing a character. A character sort of a uh, or mixture of a guy like you on his way down. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to give away the plot, well, but, fine, it's a, it's, but it's 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 sort of a, a television personality and it's a lot of fun because and you know because to be with Bob is like alone. Sure. You know. Right. I don't you know if you know been, Bob. You've been, been around the world again. We've been friends. May I have that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, your your disease is spreading to me. You know, this is how it started. Look with at this uh, this room. Do, do they have air conditioning or is that girl going to stand on the roof and blow on us the whole time? <laughs> this is uh, how it began with me, the sweats, you know? Well, to you.
you today from uh, Disneyland in Anaheim, uh, California. They're celebrating their 35th year. And it was just last year that we were out to the coast for the first time. Marina Del Rey. Yes. And uh, Don Rickles came on the show. And, of course, you may, some of you may remember I was terribly ill. At, you had pneumonia. Uh, had terribly. pneumonia. Was laying on my deathbed. This was almost mine. And... <laughs> And Don came up, came down to my room yes. to cheer me up. And here's a little bit of that conversation. Yeah. Well, he tried. <laughs> well, the last thing he allegedly said to me on that tape was, you got a week to live. I know. But I fooled him. I hung you around You sure anyway. did. A lesser man would have been dead, but here you are. <laughs> He's appearing at Bally's in Atlantic City on September 22nd and 23rd. He's standing backstage right now. He's just demolished Mickey Mouse. And here he is, Don Rickles, everybody. Yes. Game, game producing again. Oh. Hi, Don. Hi, Don. Oh, my. Is this on? Yeah. You got about an hour. <laughs> Gee, you, you, you're better again, huh? I, I, I love props. <laughs> this, is, this is a treat, Disneyland. I, I, I was here... I was here about uh, 10 years ago when Mickey Mouse came over and said hello, and I punched him right in the mouth. <laughs> Something about that mouse. Yeah. It, it, it's great. It's great to schlep all the way out here to be with you on your schlep show. Schlep all the way out. We sent a helicopter for Mr. Rickles, $400 an hour, no expense spared. Chop it, you're right in. That's right. And we landed, and the pilot said, don't stay. It's a bad place. <laughs> Look at all these people. They yeah. spent all this money to get these seats. This nice? It's our kind of boy. Sure. Why wouldn't you get a turnout? There's a guy by the gate going, well, come on, watch Reaches, come on in. Hey, it's free, you'll get candy and a trip around the world. And look who's sitting in the front. Have you ever met my producer, Michael Gilman? Is that the kid? Yeah. That's you still one. got the pimples? <laughs> <laughs> Sits in the bathroom at night going, look at that one. He doesn't know how right he is. <laughs> Chase, my, looks good, no socks, that's the new thing. Yeah. Right. I knew it was you, I thought it was me for a minute. <laughs> Get yourself sprayed. <laughs> anyway. And, and you met Cody backstage? Oh, that was a bit. The kid's wonderful. Yeah. He really is. is he really, he? He's running around with a helmet on going, tackle me. <laughs> he's a wonderful child, really. Thank Good you, Don. I know you love children. And I know. And Frank is now, what, 74? Yeah. <laughs> and Frank's doing this. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. <laughs> They're going to turn oh. on you. They love Frank. Boo, boo. Sure, sure. <laughs> What do you know? Frank sits in a booth going, was that a touchdown, Lou? <laughs> They're talking like Frank's a rocket scientist. <laughs> you got lost stuff. These are bad seats. <laughs> anyway, uh, these so, people. What are the people with the tags? You're from some sort of camp? That's a ticket to get in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> eight feet high, the ticket is. <laughs> now, as you may know, Mr. Rickles has just completed a tumultuous 10-day, 11-city tour yes. with Pia Zadora. Well, and Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra was there too, I think. Wasn't you see, oh, see that remark? You're going to love it in Brooklyn on a hook. <laughs> I'm telling Frank. You that. Does Frank ever, ever ask about us? Once he went uh, Regis, <laughs> and and our cab hit your aunt. <laughs> no, he never talked. Never. He's, yeah, right. Where's he going with you? You're going no place. <laughs> You're hot for five minutes. This is all going to end. You go back to your old job, running after Joey Bishop's car. <laughs> He was with Joey Bishop a hundred years ago. It's a long story. <laughs> now he has a big house in New York and he just sits there going, hit the buzzer and bring in Joy. That's his wife. <laughs> she has to play maid. But what was it like working with Frank? It was great. I ran in front of the car and checked for grenades. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you get up every morning and say, Frank, you're marvelous, you know. <laughs> you don't do that, he slaps your wife. <laughs> but, uh, no, he's a marvelous star. Frank, yeah. if you're watching this and I doubt that. <laughs> When he starts watching Regis and Kathy from Disneyland, yeah. I'm going to put him in a hole. <laughs> but uh, Frank Sinatra's a great star. I, I, I heard that for 11 days. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, of course, my lips are chapped from walking behind him going... <laughs> <laughs> it's rough and he walks fast. Very you know. <laughs> but you do it just to keep your of name alive. Course, of course. You don't get a break like you two guys at Westbury <laughs> <laughs> sold out with the tickets of $4. This weekend, if you're in New York, maybe I can get you in. Oh, please. Well, we Because I want to hear when Irish eyes are smiling, one of the hit tunes <laughs> of Pennies all time. from Heaven. Oh, that's his new one now, Pennies from Heaven, right. Yeah. You always sang and you always stung. <laughs> Hey, hey, folks, I'm only telling Hey, for the money you're paying, that's a funny joke. 
I mean, there's no voting. You, you people were out in line at four in the morning just so you could see Cody throw up. <laughs> now, have we talked about Cody too much? No, the kid is wonderful. If that makes Kathy happy, yeah, and, you know, it I helps said. you and have a partner, you know. <laughs> you know what happened to the other partners. <laughs> they all left. Anyway. Uh, that's right. Keep me very happy. That's right. You know, he, he went through everybody. Because <laughs> I used to be very close. He'd sit in the trailer with me and tell me, how are we going to dump this one? <laughs> anyway, uh, great, great chairs. We'll chip in and get a carpenter to put a nail in. What about yeah. Pia Zadora? Was she fun to She's work with? She's wonderful. She's a lovely lady. She really is. Her husband's a multimillionaire, and they <laughs> kept giving me money to stand next to her. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, she's a, she's a lovely girl, and her husband is, is great. And she sang great, and Frank enjoyed her, and I enjoyed her. And, and it, was a, it was a lot of helicopters and a lot of planes, and that's why I said send a helicopter for me. But, you know, two hours on the freeway no, not, not for right. this, and it's syndicated. You yeah. know, this is on in Iowa at four in the morning <laughs> with some guy milking a cow going, They're on, Rose! <laughs> That is so Cat true. On. Keep milking. Keep yeah. milking. But you skyrocket. It's better to be in local. You know what I mean? We're hot right now. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, hey. It, it is stone gets hot, and then it cools <laughs> off. But let me, uh, you also were at the White House this summer. Yes, that was a big thrill. Uh, President George... called you himself? No, the President of Hadassah. Yes, the President. <laughs> yes, uh, George Bush. In fact, uh, he, he called about three times and asked me uh, to come to the White House. And uh, all three times we were... Busy doing Too things. busy to go to the president when well, he called? Well, sure. Well, you ever spend an evening with him? <laughs> you also don't get paid to do the White House, right? Uh, you don't get paid. No, it was one, I, that's the first time I met you. At, yes. the, at the inaugural for Ronald Reagan. That's exactly right. But George Bush has been a great friend to uh, Barbara and I and his lovely wife, Barbara. And we were invited to the White House, and Joe, Joe Morgan was with us. You know the black ball player? Yeah. He, kept, he was in the main ballroom hitting grounders to himself. <laughs> anyway, uh, but we had a wonderful time, and yeah. I sat next to Mrs. Bush at the uh -huh. dinner. <laughs> and she kept saying, you want another, you want another belt? <laughs> oh, there's my train. <laughs> it's the 941 to Westbury. But we had a, we had a great time. Did you and get up and perform at the White no, House? No, no, no. Uh, well, I wasn't performing. I was a guest. Uh, what, he called, what he called was performing uh, the vice president. Uh, Dan, Dan Quayle. Quayle. Dan Quayle. By performing, he was walking around the lobby going, is there any secret service? Somebody guard me. <laughs> <laughs> guys with pop guns. Did I get oh, anyway. God. Oh, no, he's this charming guy. You know, we had a couple of belts together. It was great, you know. And, and George Bush sat right next to I was amazed about my seating because sitting next to Mrs. Barbara Bush. How do you like that? And the, the occasion was, and I'm a Jewish boy from New York, and we were honoring the president of Tunisia. <laughs> and he came in with his sheet and four other guys going, <laughs> and they were smelling the rug for about a half hour. I hate it I when they, they do that. I thought they were in the carpet. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Smelling the rug. <laughs> smelling the rug. That's what the one guy came in and said, Mokhtar Salam al He started to smell the rug. I said, Don't do that. The president's here. Sit up. Sit up. It's the guy's religion. Oh, that's so great. wanted me to say that she loves Bob Newhart because, you know, Bob yeah. Newhart's a dear friend of mine. Yes, We're going is. to Europe this year, unless, God forbid, you know. Yeah. Somebody out in the desert gets moody, <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> then there'll be no trip. <laughs> but Bob doesn't mind. No bullets, nothing bothers nothing him. Bob. He just stammers his way through everything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Kathy worked with him, and Bob's a good friend, and uh, he couldn't be here today because she didn't want to give him a helicopter. <laughs> anyway, uh, going by bus is a long ride. Just, it's well, going to be a whole new world for him, right? Does he have a new series coming on? Or? No, he will, though. He reads the phone book, and they put it on the air. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's really he can that, do anything. See that? The funny. bee was trying to sting the Jew. <laughs> Sting the Jew and win a trip to Disneyland. <laughs> now, don't forget, Don will be at Bally's in Atlantic City later this month, on September 21st and 22nd. It's that's, this weekend, isn't it? That's right, it's this weekend. Well, you mean while Kathy and I are in Westbury? Yes. Nearly yes, sold out? Yes. We'll, we'll probably be alone with one guy with bubble gum sitting in the front going, I'm going to Westbury later. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll do great. I mean, when you see tickets for $4 and fruit and candy, <laughs> how, how can they miss? Jeanette McDonald and Nelson, Mc, uh, Nelson Eddy on their way back. <laughs> want you to say goodbye to Gilman. Gilman, you're a Jewish boy, right? Not that that matters. <laughs> but next year, you're going to be in this seat. Anyway, uh, good uh, luck to you, Gilman. All right. And I'm a friend. Get the nose fixed. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Don Rickles, everybody. We'll be right back with the Los Angeles Laker girls in a moment.